Hi Leo, this is Imani and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for March 13th to the 19th, 2017. I am using the Tarot of the Orishas, okay? The layout I have here is called the Crooks on Sata. I shuffle the cards 10 times. By reducing 10, we get 1 and 1 is the beginning. The starting point without which there would be nothing. This is why this number is related to God, the beginning, and the first cause. The cross represents life, like the unk. This life survives on other planes until the time comes to reincarnate. Okay? Without further ado, let's begin, Leo. In your starting, for your starting point, you have the ten of air. Goodness gracious. You got the, this is like the ten of swords in the right away deck, okay? With the Ten of Air, I feel like you are dealing with some kind of depressing situation around you right now. Um, you could have received news from family, or from a family re member that kind of caused you to feel a little bit down. With this, I also feel like some of you are sick or dealing with a sickness. Or you're possibly dealing with someone, or you know someone who has been suffering with some kind of illness for a while now, okay? It could be cancer, alright? With this cancer, I feel like uh, it started possibly like in their chest and it spread throughout their body all right i'm feeling like a mother with this okay or a motherly figure all right and i feel like you are um really focused on this woman right now that's in your life she's not well all right um you know uh if this is a loss of some kind it already occurred okay but i feel more so you trying to be there for her you know um and uh, doing the best that you can for this person if they're already uh, passed. If this is someone that you're dealing with that is sick right now, um, you're also trying to be there for them. Or if you're sick, somebody's trying to be there for you as well. I'm feeling like uh, possibly even like the flu with this. So this feels like a sickness to me. Someone you know that has a sickness, okay? In your second position, which is called the weight, you have the outcasts. This is what you're waiting for. You're waiting to be free, <laughs> basically. You're waiting to uh, possibly catch a flight to go see someone. You're waiting to travel is what I also feel like. Okay, I feel Costa Rica or something, all right, for some of you. Uh, London. Also, if you're traveling, the person that is not well is possibly the person that you're going to see. They're, they're living in London or like Belgium or something like that, okay? You're traveling to go see them. Um... With this, they could be getting an operation. I feel more so someone else than you. Someone around you was getting an operation done. Um, with, uh, interesting. What is that? Thorax? What's a thorax? Yeah, some type of, um, hmm. Something to do with, like, their digestion. Like, their di digestion, their digestive, uh, part of the body isn't really working too good right now okay with this i feel like someone is like coughing up blood okay this feels like to me um someone who's smoking too much and they're coughing up blood all right and it's causing some issues like uh, uh i'm feeling like acid reflux all right it's causing some kind of um blockage inside their system all right and that's why there's an operation that's needed there could be like a i'm feeling like someone has kidney stones all right, well, a lot of health situations going on here, um, Leo. Um, some type of kidney stone, some kind of blockage, and that's, uh, that those need to be removed is what I feel like for you. All right, and you're waiting. You could be waiting and hearing on if you, if you are the one that is having these kind of issues, you're waiting from a doctor. You're trying to wait to see what the doctor is trying to tell you. If this is someone else, you're trying to see, you know, how is the person doing, all right? But I feel like this is your health issue, and um, you're trying to get insights um, from a doctor as to what to do next, okay? Or you're just waiting on them. In your third position, which is the present, you have the moon, also the sign of Pisces. Okay, with this, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Or this is all about things coming to the surface that was kept hidden from you. So if this is some kind of sickness and illness in yourself, I feel like you didn't know about it. All right? Or you didn't know, or someone else around you didn't know that they were sick for a while. All right? But this feels like, to me, um, someone that you know that is uh, having or ha has had kidney failure because of a kidney stone or 
whatever else was going on could have been smoking uh too much smoking and things like that this feels like to me like someone had kidney failure and um but you didn't know what was going on they didn't really talk about their health issues to you that much is what i feel like okay and now it's like coming to the surface you're hearing about it through i feel like social media and it could also be something that's occurring in the nighttime like on the 15th or something like on the night time like they're, they're getting they could be getting operated on in the night time on the 15th or the 16th or something like that um i'm hearing 17th as well so though in between those three days uh there's some kind of surgery being taken place for somebody around you um or you or you're getting this uh surgery done i'm looking at this card card too and i also um there's a little image you're not going to be able to see it it's a bit tiny all right, it's like a sword, but it looks like it's stuck in a heart. I don't know if it's a heart or not, though. I can't really... Yeah, it is a heart. Okay? <laughs> it looks like uh, there's some type of heartbreaking situations going on around you right now, and, and you're needing to cope. All right? Um, you're needing moral support, or you're needing to be moral support uh, to someone else in your life right now. With this, if this is like a relationship you did recently break up with someone or someone does not want to be with you anymore because the, your past with them was not the greatest all right i feel like you were emotionally unavailable to them in the past all right and um and uh as i even look at the color this person their name could actually be rose all right if the name starts with a r or if that is their name rose okay um they feel like you backstabbed them like you hurt them feel like you kind of moved on to another relationship and kind of left them hanging is what i feel like okay um with that i feel like they're trying to get back at you too in a very like malicious way so watch out for them in that case okay they may be trying to accuse you of i feel like a uh, rape or something wow that's but that's not it's not true they're just doing that because they're jealous and they're mad because you don't want to be with them anymore. So they're going to they're going to drastic measures to make you feel really bad or to make you like uh, uh, feel bad for leaving them. All right. Is what I feel like. Wow. Heavy stuff. OK. Um, hmm. What else is going on here? Where was I? That was your present. Wow. That's what you're dealing with right now. OK. That was your present in your fourth position you have the future you have the six of earth right here okay the six of earth is like uh sharing it doesn't have to be money um you can just be sharing share your time i feel like there's time needed to spend with your family right now all right with this i'm feeling like uh disease someone has disease hmm interesting interesting this this whole reading feels like health to me for this week at least i just keep picking up a lot of health related situations going on here hmm heart disease like someone is finding out that they have heart disease in your family or you have heart disease and i feel like um you or someone else is taking medication for it that's what it feels like okay heart disease situation here um it is painful though it's not you don't feel too good i feel like you have to take these pills that don't taste good either all right and it's uh with this if not like a heart situation um i feel like someone is trying to take something for collagen production too for their skin i feel like if this like a um cause i'm looking at the sun too and the person is out in the sun doing some work so it does feel like to me that uh someone spent too much time in the sun they probably went on a vacation recently and they spent too much time sunbathing and uh it kind of like a uh, um what do you call it? the epidermis epidermis dermis epidermis of oh, the skin is a little damaged and uh they have to uh, get collagen production now for their skin and this also feels like to me if this is damaged to the skin they wear a lot of makeup to cover it all right they're wearing a lot of makeup to cover the damaged skin that's underneath okay i'm feeling like there's a, like somebody's skin is really blotchy uh possibly even craters and they're covering it with a lot of makeup but i feel like this is a very light this is a person that's light very like almost white like light in complexion and they're covering their face up with a lot of makeup because their skin doesn't look very good all right this is what this feels like uh to me very interesting card to have in your future 
if this is going to be a future card, I feel like uh, if this was a health situation that you had to deal with that was a bit detrimental on your part, okay, like for example, it could this that could have been the outcome. You using makeup, maybe you had a procedure done that kind of took away from your natural, uh, the way your body produces things naturally, whatever surgery or something that you had done, it kind of took away from it, all right, it took away like a lot of like the healthy nutrients out of your skin, so that's why you need to use vitamin E oil, vitamin C, okay, you have to use creams to cleanse your skin, there's all this stuff about skin and health here, feels like a health reading to me, all right, but with this, um, it's if you're healing the skin a lot, is what it feels like to me, okay? Um, if not physical situation, um, but uh, recovery, like physical recovery here. Like if someone like recently was like in a car accident and that's where there will be like some kind of scarring, you're trying to figure out ways to cover the scarring is what it feels like to me, Okay? That's what it feels like now. I had to like sit and really like read into that. Because um, I usually go pretty quickly. But uh, for some reason it just had me sit in there for a while. Okay. In your fifth position you have your instincts. You have the five of fire. Alright. Not. This is almost like not using your intuition with someone around you. This is like two-faced energies. Alright. Is what I feel off of this. Or fighting someone who, who cannot be fought. All right, it's like fighting. It's, it almost feels to me fighting the change, fighting the fighting, trying to fight the inevitable in terms of like a relationship. All right, and like again, like I said, hospitalization with this as well. Okay, you could be dealing with hospitalization or someone that is in the hospital with you. I feel like you're dealing with a doctor that is a bit. Uh, um, is somebody's testing your? This is somebody testing your patience, if not a doctor. Okay, if not, they're telling you how to live your life, telling you what to do. They swear up and down that they know what's best for you, but I feel like you already know what's best for yourself, okay? It could be a father figure that I feel like you're trying your best to prove yourself wrong. You know, you, to prove the other person wrong, I feel like they're, they've been this way for a while with you, all right? And it has something to do with, like, in the past. I feel like they, they, their trust level with you has lowered because of something that occurred in the past i feel like you tried to get someone to live with you okay and it kind of caused the relationship to deteriorate and for some reason it's like resurfacing you could be finding out information the, about a person that used to live with you okay or that you used to live with and for some reason it's, it's having a, a serious effect on your family right now okay you could be finding this out through like social media or something and it's a bit of a shock to you and i feel like um you are defending i feel there's some uh there's some energy of guilt going on here as well and you having to defend yourself about uh that person uh, defending your life okay defending the choices that you made towards that other person i feel like someone felt like they that you did them wrong okay that you did them really wrong and like if this is a cheating situation it's like they're being really petty about it or you feel like it could be like a gemini that you're dealing with you feel you feel like they're being petty all right or you may even feel like they're being insecure in that case okay or maybe you maybe deep down inside you're like okay they're just insecure all together i can't be with someone that's like this all right that's what this energy feels like to me all right um if that's the case i feel like you have moved on to someone else temporarily i feel like you do still love that other person though but i feel like you had to take a break from them from a little bit because uh they they felt like uh unappreciated by you you didn't really they felt like you weren't really appreciating them that much all right and even with them towards you i feel like uh they did the best they could to take care of you they really loved you you know they loved you a lot they i feel like you still they still love you very much but for some reason i feel like um uh if you are like the only child this is like only child syndrome to me too where it almost goes to show that uh you, you were always given things uh immediately as a child you were always handed things you're pretty much spoiled all right so you're not used to people not giving you anything you're not used to like having to pay for things 
you're not used to like having to really struggle you don't you don't understand what struggle is is what i feel like you don't really understand it i feel like you've had like things pretty much set out for yourself your whole entire life and for some reason someone is bringing that up to the table to you okay they could have came from a background of struggle and um, distress etc um but they it's almost like um it's almost like uh, opposites attract to me. Like someone came from a struggling background and the other person came from like with a silver spoon in their mouth or something. Um, but it's a learning process for the both of you in that case. Learning how to really work together. But in this case, I don't feel like the two of you are like um, match for each other. Maybe you don't feel like you're a match for this person is what I feel like. Or they don't feel like you're a match for them because of whatever status that you're coming from right here. Okay. So just use your instincts, okay? If this doesn't feel like it's gonna work, it's it's uh you know it's better better you know better be better safe than sorry than to like you know you don't want to hurt the person, all right? You don't want to hurt them by pretending. Almost feels to me like pretending to be in love with them or just pretending to want to be with them, but this all like it could go like anyway this could be you pretending to want to be with them because they have money all right or vice versa okay like somebody wanted to be with you for your money like that kind of thing all right just so it just like a like those marriages for convenience you know just because it looks good on the surface doesn't mean that it's really that good all right it just looks good on the outside but there's some serious issues that need to be taken care of in terms of the relationship all right um, what was that? Your instincts. In your sixth position, you have your accomplishments right here. You have the guardian angel. You could have a guardian angel around you. I feel this is a, a very feminine energy. So I feel like you do have a beautiful, a new beautiful partner with you. Could be a woman or just someone who has very strong feminine qualities. But the guardian angel represents uh temperance like in the right away deck this is about being patient or dealing with the sign of a sagittarius all right with this i'm feeling like disciplinary action you could be disciplining someone you could be trying to but i feel like the way you're doing it is in a way that's indirect all right you're doing it indirectly you i feel like even on purpose all right you could be trying to get someone's attention and they're not really looking into you that much or you're doing this to them Okay, but I feel like you, I feel like you're trying to get this other person's attention too. But they're, if they're doing this to you, then they're trying really hard is what I feel like with this card. Okay, very, very hard. All right. They could be like putting up songs about you on their, on their Facebook page. It's in all kinds of like petty indirect stuff is what I feel like. Okay, like babyish, like things that little kids would do almost like songs and like random lyrics, like quotes quotes and statuses that are obviously directed to you <laughs> like it's obvious all right you're just choosing not to really pay attention to it and it's like a lot of petty back and forth going on there all right um let's see what else that we have here that was your accomplishments so if that's going to be an accomplishment you did succeed in doing that not really paying attention to like they're them trying so hard basically <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Your spiritual self right here is your seventh position. You have the three of swords, which is like the three of air. All right. I'm trying so hard not to say swords. Three of air. You know, um, this is air like energy. This could be energy coming from an air sign towards you. It could be that this could be an air sign that you're dealing with that you're trying to not pay attention to. All right with this i do feel like uh they're heartbroken you know they you know they're feeling a bit sad they really love you all right they really love you okay and with this i do feel like uh hmm, there's some type of backstabbing going on here but there is a third party though that i feel like is disrupting your situation it could could be coming from an earth sign some kind of disruption okay in terms of uh you, it's like you and your partner are having some kind of separation going on, like just temporary separation, but then you have another party coming through that is uh, possibly causing some issues for your partnership. It's like almost trying to heal and not being able to heal at the same time. 
all right because something or someone else is in the way these this could also be some type of feeling all right so you or your partner could be thinking about a third party that is uh um that could be what they're thinking about too what this feels like to me is like wanting something you can't have also so if your partner is like they're in love with you but they're also like in love with someone else is what it feels like if this is a case where if this is a third party someone has their eyes on your partner is what it feels like and it's causing some kind of heartbreak and sadness but this is spiritual to me okay so if this is going to be your spiritual card i do feel like uh, you are using your intuition in terms of your partner your partner's feelings towards someone else i feel like they made their i feel like something occurred i feel like you found out about something in terms of uh a third party's interest in your partner and it's causing you some heartbreak is what it feels like to me okay i also feel like there's some spiritual exploration being needed here i feel like uh there's some jealousy in terms of spiritual stuff all right like some type of jealousy in terms of maybe you want to be better okay at like uh if you do crystals and reiki and things like that maybe you want to like learn how to do it all right maybe there's someone else around you that does it really well okay or better in some cases and like you're like trying to stay on top is what it feels like to me okay but i feel like they're like trumping your stuff is what it feels like or if not that if the, because this is a spiritual self card i feel like you're trying to fine tune your stuff you're trying to fine tune your craft not only spiritual if you play music you're trying to fine tune your music all right but for some reason like it is a three of air so maybe it is that uh you feel like your music like if you do play music you feel like your music skills are kind of dying off you feel like they're not as good as they used to be so that's why there's this need to just um uh possibly even like put it to rest for a little bit and, and pick up something new i feel like there's a need to pick up something new because something else is just isn't working for you anymore like to say like if it doesn't make you like tear up a little bit like if it doesn't make you cry then it's okay to lose it all right it's okay to lose that skill or that position it wasn't really serving you that much okay um right where was i now in your ninth no 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 your eighth position you have iku Eco is the death card. It also represents major transformations in your life. It doesn't have to do with physical death necessarily. It could be, but not on your part. It could be like someone else around you passed recently. Okay? But with this, I do, yeah, like a mother figure. But with this, I do feel like uh, you are, your life is, is changing for the better in terms of the kind of work that you do. Like I said, if it doesn't make you cry, it's, it's okay to lose it then. All right. And look on to something new. With this, I feel like stealing ideas. Uh, you are stealing someone else's ideas or they're stealing yours, etc. Okay. Hmm. With this, it's not that it's the ideas being stolen necessary. I feel like you were a mentor to someone, all right? You were mentoring them. They end up doing really well, okay? And it's like, hmm, it's like whatever you taught them, they kind of like swore up and down that they did it and you didn't teach them, like that kind of feeling. That's what it feels like to me. And it's kind of making you uh you feeling like you just want to drop the person altogether because of their the way they're acting about that all right like almost like big-headed egotistical like these are the energies that i feel off of this like their ego is like extremely inflamed is what i feel like because they're doing so well off of what you taught them is what i feel like okay um hmm that was your mentality in your ninth position you have changed what's changing right now is you coming out of having to defend yourself against a situation against a person etc over a person over your choice of a person is what i feel like too i think i feel like you had to make a choice in terms of a love partner all right 
um, with this, this also, I always feel spirituality with this. This just looks like a spirituality card to me because of the candles and because the person is just like laying there like that. All right. And what I feel is that, I mean, that's not the right way to like, like to meditate. I'm just saying, but, um, laying down, I feel like you are in need of some serious rest. In that case, you're tired of having to defend yourself against a situation. I feel like you, there's this huge need to just rest and relax. All right. But with this, I do feel like uh, there, you have too many people around you that have too many opinions about your life that do not need to be in your life talking to you the way they do is what I feel like. Okay, like it, uh, like almost to say their opinion doesn't matter. All right, is what it feels like. But with this, is like uh, you serious defending yourself, but it's coming out of that. You don't. This this is changing. You're not having to do this anymore because you're dropping, you're dr like, like with equal, you're dropping the burdens of these people in your life right now. It's time to step away from situation. It's, it's gone. It is gone. It is time to let go of it, of them, etc. Okay? They're not serving your highest good and uh, they possibly feel like you're not either. All right? In your resolution here in your 10th position, you have the six of air, air sign. So this is what, why I feel like you are dealing with air energy. You could be moving away with an air sign. I'm feeling like possibly a Gemini, all right, to get away possibly from the anguish, all right? If this is a loss recently, you are picking up and you're leaving with your partner um, so that they can heal. You're possibly even moving somewhere that's really sunny and beachy. All right, so that you can get away from all the craziness, all the crazy people, crazy situations, the loss. All right, it's time to move on from it. Um, California, somewhere that's just nice and sunny. All right, somewhere along the coast, possibly like Central America. All right, I'm feeling like Italy and France, like European countries too. So you're doing some traveling there. All right, but there's that's just that heavy need to get away. All right, take a break. All right, then Leo, that concludes your reading. Very heavy reading, okay? <clears throat> Very heavy um, in terms of the energies. All right. I hope that you take care of yourself um, on a spiritual, physical, and mental level. Okay. Um, well, that concludes it. Uh, if you like a private reading with me, please uh, feel free to contact me via Facebook message or email. Also, do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. Take care, Leo. Bye.